in story time with Aunt Phil, the story of a baby elephant named Annabelle and the Alaska Zoo. Such a good story. Yeah, 49 years ago this week, the Alaska Zoo opened its doors. And as author Laurel Downingville shows us, its odd beginning started with one Anchorage grocer and what he chose as his winning prize in a toilet paper contest. The year was 1966. The Alaska Zoo hadn't yet opened, and we had yet to see our first resident elephant, Annabelle, who would eventually become known for her paintings done here at the zoo. Yeah, so as the story goes, a man by the name of Jack Snyder entered a contest. Now, he could win either $3,000 or a baby elephant. And Laurel, he would surprise everybody when he won that contest and chose the latter, the elephant. Snyder was a grocer here in Anchorage, and he entered a toilet paper contest with the Crown Zellerbach Company. And he was surprised when he won, and they were more surprised when he decided to take an elephant instead of the $3,000 prize, which today would have been about $23,000. Well, you can imagine the surprise by the executives of the toilet paper company, because now they had to go round up an elephant. After some searching, they did find an 18-month-old little elephant that had been working for a circus, and her name was Annabelle. So Annabelle arrived in July of that year, and she was a huge hit around Alaska. That was the first time a pachyderm had been in Alaska since the Ice Age. Well, she spent her summer flying around Alaska, spreading goodwill. Then the winter came on, and Snyder had to find a place to put her, and he asked Sammy Sewell, who had a horse ranch, if Annabelle could stay in one of her heated stalls. It was the only heated stall in town. And then eventually, Snyder said, well, if you want Annabelle, you can have her. And that's how Annabelle became part of Sewell's family. So that was 1966, and people wanted to obviously keep Annabelle around, but she needed a safe place to stay year-round, and that's kind of how this zoo got started. Sewell um, convinced Anchorage residents to form a nonprofit corporation where they could build a facility for children and adults to come and visit animals and get to know about them. So the facility, known then as the Alaska Children's Zoo, opened the next year on property that was adjacent to Sewell's ranch. And it started out with Annabelle and then several donated animals, many of them orphaned or injured. And then it wasn't until June of 1980 that this officially became known as the Alaska Zoo. Fast forward, Annabelle's 25, 26 years old. She gets a paintbrush and we learn that she can actually paint. <laughs> She began splattering paint onto canvases and entertained all kinds of visitors and Alaskans during the next few years as she created abstract art. It turns out elephants have 40 to 50,000 muscles in their trunk and a prehensile finger on the tip of their trunk. So yes, she could pick up that paintbrush and paint, which she did and raised several hundred thousand dollars for the zoo and her art even graced note cards and mugs too. And then unfortunately, in 1997, Annabelle died at the age of 33 from a foot infection that she had. But people can still come visit Annabelle because there's a nice monument to her at the Alaska Zoo with her picture right on top.